This is going to be a reading for Air Science, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What's coming in for you for the next 72 hours? What can you expect in your love relationship? With Four of Pentacles, I mainly see you giving someone the cold shoulder. Okay, you're ghosting someone. You're trying to focus on yourself more. You're trying to think before you do something. So you're very much in a way defensive. Okay, I do not see you quite wanting to reach out to your person. Now you're waiting for them. You're still just going to focus on healing. If you get attention, you're going to accept it, but that's about it. Okay. So, yes, moving on. For nine of pentacles from four to the nine, finances are going to look very good. If you had low confidence because your, your finances were not go going well or your career seemed dim, then I believe as you move towards September, things are only going to get better for you. Okay. So, what else do we have? With two of wands, you will definitely have new options coming up. This could be work situation. You, this could be a new project, a new venture. This could be relationship. You will have lots of attention coming from not many areas, I would say. This could also be a long distance relationship for some of you. You guys could have just met via uh, online dating or any social media platform. With two of cups, yes, you're def definitely moving towards a relationship. Please clarify the two of cups further. What do we have here? But death card, I think mainly uh, someone who you once wanted is going through a transformation. This person is going through an awakening. So they either come back changed or they will come forward and give you an answer. I see closure coming in. Okay. In terms of what do you want now? What do you want the, with the moon card? I think you do not want to struggle emotionally anymore. You're mainly trying to release all your fears, your doubts, and you want wanting to focus back on you now. Okay, in terms of your honest feelings. With Son of Cups, you're mainly trying to think whether you should definitely go for other options. If you have someone already, you're asking yourself whether you want to put in more effort or not. You're asking the universe for its support for uh, you to, you know, make that decision. Okay, if you believe in your ancestors or archangels, you're, you're, you're trying to ask for some bit of guidance. Okay, if you tune into readings and you might be looking here for guidance. Okay, in terms of what do you want now? With the devil card, I think mainly some of you guys, even if you're trying to move far, far away from this addiction, most of you guys will focus uh, on coming to terms with what you have been through. If this was very disturbing to you at one point, you could not do without them then mainly you will ask yourself question as to why and you'll want to improve on that. I'm not saying that you want to go back to them or you're very much still attached. No, you will think about them. They will be on your mind, but for other reasons. Okay, what else do we have? The Ten of Cups, you're mainly moving towards a committed relationship and I don't think it's going to come through the past person. Okay, now let's see where are you moving next. With Knight of Swords, I see you very intentional with your life. You're focused on your career, your personal life, your emotional health, your spiritual life. Okay, you're trying to do it all now. Top card we have is Queen of Swords. So as you move towards the weekend, the end of the week, I see you doing a lot, lot better. You're, you're going to be a lot more balanced. You're going to have a clear head. You're definitely doing a lot, lot better. Okay, even now I do not see you quite messed up. You're only quite hurt and affected. When you think about that X, okay. With Eight of Swords, you're mainly trying to free yourself from the situation that has been keeping you stuck. Eight of Swords, Devil. And final outcome. Final outcome with Wheel of Fortune, you're, you're moving out of that cycle for, for your own betterment, okay. So yes, in terms of that, let's pull more cards. Why do we have Four of Swords and Nine of Pentacles as your overall energy? With Nine of Cups, I think now you're going to focus back on your happiness, your goals, your dreams. Nine of Cups, I also believe that you want to achieve all that you have been thinking and expecting out of yourself. Okay, with Ace of Cups, I mainly see you moving towards something new. With Ace is majorly new love. Okay, with Justice card, I also feel as you move out of what's been blocking you, life will seem much more simpler because you're accepting the reality. Accepting the reality will always in in a way mess with the scales initially but then it will bring in that balance okay in terms of why do we have the two of cups here and two of wands the temperance card you're on the lookout for balance and i see you doing a lot better here 
with the sun card you're getting a lot of attention and that's definitely helping you you will have a uh, lot of approach from uh, new suitors okay with the fool card i think you will want to listen to what they have to say and what do they think about you so if you already have a person then that person will give you much more attention than usual you guys will make uh, plans of traveling together okay what else do we have in terms of the moon card and seven of cups yeah with four of cups you want to look at the past situation as something that was not meant for you okay top card we have a seven of pentacles in, in the reverse you're mainly trying to get rid of something that has been negative for you okay and with the mention card you're letting go of something in order to manifest something better okay as we move towards the eight of swords and the wheel of fortune why do we have these cards with knight of cups i think a past person might want to trigger you in some which way but you'll choose to ignore it okay with queen of swords i don't see you quite wanting to be attentive to what they have to say or what uh, reaction they they want from you i think you're very much going to just ignore the whole situation if if they come forward okay in terms of advice with queen of swords here the page of cups i think you need to focus more on what's in front of you than what's left you behind with the hierophant card you will mainly have a lot more opportunities coming in make it count okay do not uh, miss this opportunity top card we have is high priestess i think you're going to choose what's good for you and if the new person is good or the new work situation is good then you're going to choose that over the other thing okay now let's move on to your person what's happening there what's happening with your person with three of cups your person definitely wants to come forward okay they have you on their mind continuously who is this person for some of you the past will still stalk you but the new will be much more approachable okay with ace of swords you you guys have had some bit of communication and, and you all already know it okay for most of you it's it's someone who you just met this could be one week this could be seven weeks this could be three months max to max okay um, and uh, what does this person want with you now this person definitely hopeful that things will work out with you they want to get to know you better they want a mutual relationship with the sun card i mainly believe they want your attention and they want you to be real with them they want to know your real side in terms of their heart space or feelings heart space feelings with the pentacles card in a way they might feel like you're having someone like a third party that's why you do not take them much seriously or the emperor card this person might not be very very expressive they are very mature very grounded but when it comes to expressing they might still need more time in terms of their major intentions intention with five of pentacles in the reverse if in the past they made you feel like uh, they were ghosting you or not quite being honest and real with you then this time they want to change that that shift will happen with eight of wands they want to communicate more things could also get a little sexual a little flirty with six of swords the major challenge is whether they love you or not that's what will bother you for a while whether they love you or they just wanting to spend time with you okay most of you guys will like agree to the statement in terms of what are they willing to offer the king of swords for now this person just wants to be real okay like what are their intentions with the connection they, they share with you for now do not expect much in terms of them expressing their love and desire for now they just want to know you more for the next couple of weeks okay flirting will happen in, like in a way they'll make it obvious that they like you but they won't say that i love you you know that might take some time okay so where is this connection going with two of swords for now it shall remain at crossroads but in a good way okay what's going to be your reaction i think you're mainly going to be happy okay, where where do i keep this here but yeah in terms of three of cups why do they have three of cups being their energy your person with ace of swords they want to work on their communication skills with you they want to spend more time with you the ace of pet two aces yeah this is this looks good uh, they they want to be real more than anything you know they want to 
uh, reciprocate with what you are doing to them like if you are good to them they will be good to you if you are more expressive to them then they will be expressive towards you you take your chances they will take their chances so whatever you do okay and with seven of swords if in the past they they been uh, very much sneaky then this time they will come off more honest okay in terms of why do we have page of swords and ace of swords with two of cups initially you might have got a feeling that they are just with you for the benefits or for uh, reasons because they are attracted to you or something very much flaky but i think with queen of cups it's obvious that they have a liking towards you they if they find you very much uh, vibing very much their types you might even share same values you might have not discussed it but but with time you you will realize it with six of wands um, i think in the past they did not give you the attention you deserved but now they will okay in terms of why do we have the sun in the star here the sun card they will want to focus on the balance uh, of this connection okay with 10 of wands they will want to hold on uh, to it together in a way they will want to put in that effort and with king of wands i think they will take action more than any, like anything else you know they'll be more open to the idea of the relationship in terms of i think whenever you talk about commitment or past relationship in a way they could go silent they might not want to discuss their past relationship for some reason okay with the moon card that hurts them so i would ask you not to with queen of pentacles of course they are trustworthy but you got to say uh, spend more time together in terms of outcome outcome with ace of wands mostly you guys will get sexual by the weekend six of cups at least if not sexual if, if you're not ready for it at least you guys will spend more time together and king of pentacles it's definitely moving in the right direction okay what blockages might get in the way blockages i think some of you guys are still quite affected by your past events you fear that that might repeat with the hermit in the reverse that that past a hole might return uh in a way to mess up things further and with five of pentacles you fear if you get attached this person will also leave you so that is a natural fear that you might have okay let's pull a few cards for your past person what's the past person up to i think past person is still holding back they're making a plan of reaching out but majorly holding back with justice card they are thinking as to what you could be up to in the you know the feelings of course i'm getting feelings here with king of cups they are missing you now that you are ghosting them or staying away intentions intentions in a way is to get back at least on communication terms in terms of what can you expect the temperance card around the fourth or the fifth i mean you can expect some communication or them liking your picture or them approaching you they might not call you not come forward but in a way they might message or do something that shows you their presence in your life okay why are they doing this what's the intention intention is to have your attention again in terms of where this is going i still believe most of you will not want to trust them this person is missing you they do regret what they have done to you with queen of wands they also miss you sexually they miss seeing you with eight, eight of wands they really wish to talk to you they miss, they miss your voice let's move on to individual signs in terms of libra what's happening with your life let me take four cards for you overall energy libra with knight of cups in the reverse in a way are emotionally detaching yourself i don't know what you're doing mainly but emotionally you guys are quite closed off the tower card recently you guys could have gone through a breakup or a shake up or you got to know the reality of the situation and it has had some impact on you with eight of pentacles right now you're only working on your finances you're working on yourself with the strength card here you're definitely more confident than ever you're regaining your strength and focus and you're trying to resolve a situation and overcome obstacles uh, and pushing yourself forward okay it can also ind indicate need for patience and perseverance and compassion when dealing with a difficult situation you need to tap on to your inner strength to overcome any obstacles that may be hindering your progress okay with page of swords you're defensive you could be mainly trying to block a past person from coming forward you're defensive and in a way you don't trust them anymore what's coming your way with the chariot card you will have multiple options okay 
I think some of you guys have met someone in 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 July end who has a strong uh, desire towards you. The six of wands is possible. Definitely give you attention. Okay. That being said, let's move on to Gemini. What's happening with Gemini? Gemini right now feels unwanted. Uh, so you could have just uh, now gone through a breakup that has made you feel unrequited in the situation or um, like you, you, you did not belong. You made a giant mistake by trusting someone. With Knight of Swords, you want answers from that person. You really wish that person also hurts like you are hurting in a way that you just wish it back on them. With Temperance card, you're going to work on healing yourself, fixing yourself. And Two of Pentacles, I don't think you're very much ready to move on to your next chapter yet. You still want time. You're going back and forth as to why this person could have done this to you. But you'll mainly focus on that healing journey. What's coming your way? I'm getting the Moon card. You do not trust anyone. Your trust is definitely gone. The Days of Wands, but you, you could keep yourself sexually open. But emotionally, you're closing off. Final card we have is Ace of Cups. You're asking yourself whether, you know, uh, you are unlucky in love. But that is not the case. But what you, you are waiting on, that is definitely not going anywhere. Okay. In terms of Aquarius, what's happening? Aquarius right now are playing it safe. You're definitely waiting on someone's reaction or attention. With the uh, Ten of Wands, uh, you're very much burdened at this time. You're very much focused on work. But you also can't focus on work as much as you'd want to. With Ten of Pentacles, if you guys are married, that marriage uh, might be going good. But work might be troubling you. If you guys are not married, a relationship that is not going towards marriage is troubling you. Work might be going good. Okay, so take what resonates. With Six of Pentacles, I feel by the weekend, the person that you are waiting on will give you attention. In terms of what's coming your way. I have thought some of you guys might be having trouble sleeping. What else? With two of swords, you do not know what to think, what to expect, you know, what to do. With two of wands in the reverse, I, I, I think majorly you're trying to get over someone, but you're not able to. Okay, what else do you have? What's coming your way? With six of swords, I think you're mainly going to be focusing on moving on. And with Queen of Swords, you're trying to be as practical as possible. Final card of advice for you guys. Eight of Cups. I think whatever is affecting you, you need to focus on moving on from that chapter. Okay, let's take a message for you now. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Okay. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. So that is all I have for air signs. If it resonated, please do hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section. Okay, uh, you could also check your individual signs that I've posted. Uh, you, we have the August uh, playlist up. You could definitely go to the playlist or you, or you could go to the link below. I've definitely you know, uh, linked the other videos. Okay, your collective readings, your...